Mr. Elmer has been fighting his case for some five years, I believe, uh, to, in one way or another, uh, draw attention to this data. Of course, we don't know whether he is our source or not. Uh, we are structured in such a way uh, that we do not know that. However, he certainly has something important uh, and has had something very important uh, to say about this matter. And I understand uh, he is in a position to um, have more to say and more to give uh, to the world to help them understand the sort of corrupt practices uh, that we saw uh, in that Cayman Islands uh, operation, uh, clear uh, asset hiding uh, from around the rest of the world. Um, for what purposes? It's a matter of speculation in each individual case, uh, whether it be um, for tax evasion, uh, to hide uh, the proceeds of criminal acts, uh, to uh, engage in asset protection for people uh, from uh, people in countries where they are about to fall out of political favour, perhaps rightly. All those matters were part of the Bank Julius Baer material we released previously, and uh, I expect that there will be similar um, revelations uh, to come. What I would like to tell you first is that the CDs that my relationship with WikiLeaks and strictly with WikiLeaks. There is no relationship in the sense of between Rudolf Elmer and Julian Assange. This data has been collected due to my whistleblower website, having had contacts with other people. I will not reveal any company names. I will not reveal any high net worth individuals. What I want to do is to hand this over to WikiLeaks, and I say that again, WikiLeaks. 